Good morning everybody, welcome back to Spotlight Climbing. I'm super, super excited. Today should be a really, really good video. I'm super, super pumped. I've been working on a boulder problem called Helicopter out here in Morrison, Colorado. It's probably the most beta intense V5 I have ever tried. And it's also my first outdoor climbing project that I've ever had. So I've been super, super excited about this. I've been working on it for four months. And when I woke up this morning, I just had a really good feeling that I was gonna send it today. So uh, I'm gonna document the whole thing and I'm just super, super pumped. So we're gonna fuel up real quick and then I'm just gonna get out there and I'm gonna give it as many goes as I can and hopefully today's the day. Super excited, let's do it. Alright, so we're here. Uh, now it's just time for the approach and to carry all the equipment up. We're gonna head all the way, way up there. Alright, so I've made my way up to the top near Black Hole area. You kind of just snake your way up across the trail here, scrambling up, and then you make your way up to the Black Hole area. Like, I mean, So we're all done warming up here now. Um, I'm just gonna kind of walk you guys through the boulder because I kind of forgot to do that in the previous segments. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys why I consider this one of the most beta intense problems that I've ever tried, so. So the first move is a big left hand throw out to that slope, which is pretty good. It allows you to lock in that right toe and then bring up that right hand. After that, you're gonna throw up to a left triangle on the ledge of the screen there. And that allows you to throw up that right hand. You're then gonna come into this small undercling, which you can really only fit two or three fingers on. Then you're gonna bump that right hand out to that pinch, and then you're gonna throw up to that left hand rail. Next, you're gonna make that big and final last big right hand throw move out, and you're gonna bump up and match on the top. So I'm just gonna kinda piece it all together now, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like from the bottom. So you start on those two lower underclings with some pretty high feet. You're gonna make that big throw move out, like I had mentioned earlier. You're gonna lock in that toe hook and bring up that right hand. And you're gonna bump up to that left triangle, you're going to throw a big heel hook out onto this nice little sharp piece. And you're going to kind of frog squeeze, bump that right hand up. Then you're going to slowly drag that left foot up to a pretty good hold. And then you're going to make that crux move that come into that underclaim with just a couple fingers. Bump that right hand up and then go straight for the rail. And unfortunately, I failed here. So I tried working the upper section in isolation so that I wouldn't have to make it up as I go. I ended up bumping that left hand up to that rail, which was pretty good, but unfortunately it was just a little bit too low. That sets me up to make that undercling move, and that sets us up real nice to do the big throw move at the very end. Unfortunately it didn't quite work here and I ran out of wingspan because my left hand was too low. For the rest of the day I just ended up working the top section from the ground since I knew I wasn't going to get it that day, which is kind of a bummer. But as you can see, you still make that undercling move. Then I bring that right foot up, and then someone gave me a little bit of beta, uh, so I ended up tucking my right foot in there to set a toe hook, which leaves it quite nicely when you make that big throw move, but unfortunately I couldn't hold on. So as you probably saw, I unfortunately did not get the sun today, which honestly was very bummed about it, but I am very determined. I'll be damned if I don't get that on Friday. I'm gonna get back out there in two days, and hopefully the conditions are gonna be a little bit better. It's supposed to be a lot cooler. Shouldn't be sweating through my fingertips nearly as much. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm bummed, but I, I know I can get it soon. All right, so I'm back for vengeance. It's now Saturday. I'm out here with Nick and Drake, and it should be a really good time. It's a lot cooler outside. It should be a lot better conditions for climbing, and I'm super excited to get on the wall, so let's just get up there. All right, so we're gonna go get warmed up here real quick. We're just gonna climb down the lobby, stretch everything out, and uh, then I'm gonna give it a go, and hopefully I can send it today. I really don't wanna have to come back multiple times over and over and over again, even though I've been working on this for four months. But yeah, let's do it. I'm, uh, let's get going. So unfortunately I ran into some recording issues today, some of the footage got corrupted, so you have to take my word for it that this is from the bottom. So as you can see, I make that right hand bump up and then throw my left hand up to the rail. I'm definitely feeling a lot stronger today and uh, I'm able to make the moves a lot easier. I switch that right hand to the undercling and then I lock in that toe hook so that way I can make the big throw. And as you can see, I actually stick it this time and I'm able to work my way up and shimmy that right hand up into that jug position. From there, bringing over your feet is actually kind of hard. You, even though your right hand is on a jug, you still really got to shift that body weight over to, and rely just on that right hand. And then you back flag as hard as you can, which unfortunately I ended up falling out of. In my last attempt for the day, I was feeling pretty strong. I was able to lock in that toe hook and throw that right hand up really far. 
Then was able to bump up again, shimmy my right hand back in there. And unfortunately, even though it was looking really strong this time, I got the feet up, back flagged really, really hard. But at that point, my bicep and my forearm were completely pumped out. And so as I was trying to bring that right hand up to match, I unfortunately was not able to actually finish. So, unfortunately, the urge trying to kill me. So, I uh, did not get the send, as you probably saw. I absolutely shredded the crap out of my hand, and uh, I think it's time for me to be done today. I uh, got just diminishing returns. But that is the furthest I've ever made it, and literally just have to match the last hold, and I'm done. It was, as you saw, like six inches away from finishing that. So, I'm gonna come back out. Unfortunately, it's supposed to snow in a couple days, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Um, but probably about five days from now, I'll be able to come out and uh, give it one more go. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, yeah. All right, so very, very impromptu trip this morning. Um, I've had a very, very busy week and haven't had any time to get out there and go try a helicopter. Also, it didn't help that my hand, I had a flapper and that really, really just sucked. But yeah, I'm gonna get out there today. I'm gonna go grab something really light to eat and we're just gonna get out there and I'm gonna give it everything I got because I'm hoping today is the last day that I have to work on it. So yeah, let's get to it. I did it today. I finally, after four months, sent a helicopter. I'm super, super excited. And yeah, and I'm gonna go hit up Earthrex to go practice some lead climbing. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining me on the journey. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Lots of more fun video content coming along. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.